class four brain tumor, and his doctor said, oh, by the way, there's no, there's no stage five. You got stage four, which means we give you six months. So he said, okay. And he quit his job, and he began to write songs. Left his corporate job, and he lived for 13 and a half more years. I just lost him last October. The guy recorded 22 albums in that time. And he said that his diagnosis actually gave him life. The songs that he wrote have really touched me. This guy was actually born in the same hospital that I was born in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And his songs are about the most important things. And uh, that said, I'm just so glad to be here tonight with good friends, because that's just about the most important thing of all. <coughs> good people, good family. And this song is called Silent Conversation. I think it'll speak for itself. Lord, I guess you know what I'm thinking. You must have heard these thoughts a thousand times before. Are they thoughts? Are they dreams? Are they prayers? Are they all the same to you? Or must I pray some more? Cause I'm just speaking to speak with you in private. So I can hear and understand the things you say. If you really know what I'm thinking Could you not make some time to talk with me today? Do you speak in riddles or through the works of nature? Are you sending signs I simply cannot see? takes two to have a conversation. Have you chosen to be silent? There is a silence inside of me because I'm just aching to speak with you in private. So I can hear and understand the things you say. If you really know what I'm thinking, could you not make some time to talk to me? I don't recall a time you've ever shouted. I think that I'd remember if you did. It seems to me you're more inclined to whisper. But I never can hear for all the noise that's in my head. And I'm just aching to speak with you in private. So I can hear and understand the things you say. If you really know what I'm thinking, could you not make some time to talk with me today? Someday when I get to your house, when I get that chance to see you face to face, We'll sit down to a couple cups of coffee. I got some questions about this thing. This thing that you call race, and I'm just aching to speak with you in private. And I'm taking every chance I can. You see, I'm breaking the boundaries of my own. And I'm waking with a sense of expectation. And I'm shaking with the joy I can't explain. I'm still aching. Aching to speak with you in private. <laughs> 